So I just won this 2006 Forester XT on Copart for $17.50 and with fees it's going to come close to $21.50. So this is a Boise location so we're going to go get that now. I gotta pull out a cashier's check, go to Copart and pick up the car. So here we are. Hopefully this goes well. All right, so we made it out of the bank and we got the check. So here we are to go get the Subaru. All right, so here's Copart. So we're almost there. Thanks for telling. Alright, so now we're just going in and giving them the receipt, and uh, so we'll pay for it, and they will send the car out on a big forklift. Alright, I got my paper, so I can come pick it up, whatever's over that wall. He just picked up my paper, so now he's going to go pick up the car. Oh yeah, here's the Subaru. All right, now I'm gonna try to drive it up onto the onto the trailer so we don't mess anything up. Hopefully she runs good. Alright, that is way better than doing that in a manual transmission. Manual transmission, you're just worried about smoking the clutch. It's terrible. But that was easy. Alright, so I got it home, and here it is. So it still has a bunch of stuff in it that I need to take care of. So the damage is right here. That must have been crashed in, so they just removed that area down to there. So you're gonna replace the quarter panel and the door and it'll be good. So that's our fun story. There's a check engine light, which I'm gonna check next. And next I'm gonna air up the tires. Uh, then go take it for a test drive and check the oil. That's important too. So I just saw this and was really happy. It's U-Haul tow hitch, so I can haul some uh, bikes. All right, I checked oil and tire pressures, and we're all good now. So here we go for the startup. And so as you can see, there's a. Uh, there's a check engine light. So next I'm going to have to check for that. See what that is. Alright, so I got a bunch taken out. So, here we are now. And so this area has been torn apart quite a bit, just so they could assess damage. They had the tail lights out. I found those inside. Started to install those. Here's all the parts that we found inside. So I have my bumper, my back tray. Pretty much this whole area in here was in the back. So that this is just a lot of floor floor pans and stuff, some uh, mud flaps, interior door panel, some headrests. So I've been waiting to put this all together and now I can put it all together now. All right, so I got quite a bit done on the Forester. I just took the bumper back off so I can go drive it because I didn't bolt it in. But I got 
Most of this put back together. Those are just parts of my quarter panel. Got my tail lights installed. So there's the damage. So I'll just have to get a new quarter panel and door. And it goes into there. The quarter panel will cover all of that. So it shouldn't be a huge deal. Here's our interior. Here. Now let's go drive it. All right, so here we're in it. It's got a stock boost gauge in it. It's not totally warmed up, so I'm not gonna do anything crazy. But one of the coolest parts is the sunroof. It's huge. And that thing will open all the way up. I like it like this, because you get all the light from it. I love that blow off noise, that is amazing. Nice part on a Subaru is I can off-road it too, getting turn around. Most cars I cannot do that. At least most fast cars. So I'm liking the car so far. It's really cool that I can film and drive because of the automatic. It's not as fun driving, but it's not that important. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to give it a like and uh, comment what you want to see next. I can go do some speed runs in Mexico or uh, show off the all-wheel drive or just comment what you want to see. Thanks for watching. Bye.